let's queer up South Florida and Florida, shall we? Let's get more into it. <laughs> the Santa Stop Woke Act is stopped. Failed Republican presidential candidate and Florida <laughs> governor Ron DeSantis delivered a lengthy seven-minute tirade yesterday addressing topics like the woke mind virus, gender-affirming health care, the Olympics opening ceremony, crime statistics, and student protest. Critics said his unscripted rant reminded them of a page right out of Donald Trump's playbook. It came in response to a federal court's recent decision to impose a permanent injunction on his Stop Woke Act. The law enacted by DeSantis in 2022 banned mandatory diversity and inclusion training, including racial and LGBTQ uh, topics. Last Friday, Chief U.S. District Judge Mark Walker issued a permanent injunction against it, labeling, labeling the law as, quote, positively dystopian and in violation of free speech. Walker's initial block came in August 2022 after various businesses, including a Florida-based Ben & Jerry's franchise and um, workplace diversity firm, filed a lawsuit against the act. They argued that the law infringed on their ability to discuss critical societal issues. The 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals upheld Walker's decision in March, stating that the law penalized specific viewpoints, which they deemed as significant First Amendment violation. DeSantis had vowed to appeal the ruling to the U.S. Supreme Court. His rant included attacks on the drag queen and, and fashion runway moment in the Olympics opening ceremonies and repeating Elon Musk's comments about the death of his son to woke mind virus. We have every right as a state to provide protections for uh, employees and businesses to say if they are doing uh, woke training, which is basically uh, discriminating against uh, uh, folks on the basis of race, you have right to opt out of that. Uh, it's not a question of what the company can say. They can say whatever they want. But you have a right to not have to self-flagellate. You have a right to not have to sit there and listen to that nonsense. And so we were right on that. We're also right in being able to say that that the woke agenda is not consistent with what we want in education standards at our tax funded, taxpayer funded universities. Now, this guy is absolutely insane to me. I've worked for huge corporate corporations, um, you know, where it's necessary to have these kind of conversations because I should know whether I am, you know, handling something, um, incorrectly if i make fun of someone's hair or if i grab someone inappropriately or if i don't know how to handle a trans person like these are things that they train you on so that you can maneuver your your professional life um you know correctly in a manner that's okay for everyone yeah. to live comfortably and be successful if not we're just going to continue we're literally fist fight in the hallways or in the offices if we don't teach each other how to speak to each other and how to manage our, our managers, how to manage upward. If our manager is speaking to us in a way that sh is not coherent or is not, uh, that, that violates my rights, I should be able to say that or run to an HR uh, to, to express that. These trainings help you with those types of topics. So if we remove that, you know, corporations are just going to shut down because no one's going to want to work for you, bro. Well, and it's crazy how these big organizations are removing their DEI, like whole groups, right? You know, University of Florida, okay, completely removed the whole DEI. OK, and they're not the only one who's doing that. And just like John said, I mean, you know, people being trained on what not to do and what to do. You know, let's think about women in the office. Right. Sexual harassment was at the top of the bill. Yeah. Something that women always had to deal with. Right. And men would say, oh, we're just playing or it's just an innuendo. It didn't mean anything. Right. Yeah. But it hurt the woman and the men and men didn't know that this training facilitates you understanding that people are different. Yeah. People need to be addressed different. There's got to be some kind of respect. This is your coworker, not your friend. All these these things come sure. into play when you get these trainings and they're so important and you can take these trainings home and you can explain them you know if you have children you know this isn't right and this is the reason why yeah, yeah. Of, you know it, it helps you know perpetuate you know being freedom and just being okay to everybody everybody is okay to be who you are and yeah that everybody should just live together yeah just oh yeah i'm so i, I can't yeah. wait for DeSantis to like be done um danielle so, you were gonna say yeah you know it's just like in education you know especially parents and you know teachers they need to be educated mm -hmm. you know especially for you know for the lgbtq community especially for you know people of colors you know students and you know 
um yeah you know especially with Don DeS you know um DeSantis is doing right now in Florida it's just it's so bizarre and I even talked to uh, a lot of people especially political leaders in New Jersey I'm like you guys have to go out you gotta vote you know yeah. you gotta definitely organize because easily everything could be like just like what's happening right now mm -hmm. in Florida yeah. you know yeah. so yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it could be the, it doesn't have to be LGBTQ plus focus. No. It's the simplest no, of things of like no. retaliatory misconduct where yes. if, if you, you don't like me, yeah, yes. yeah. If you don't like me, then I'm not going to get promoted. Yes. Or if I turn you down, if you ask me out for a beer and I say no, and I'm up for a promotion, I don't get it because I didn't give you what you wanted. Yeah. So there are things that you have to be trained for to know how to manage those scenarios so that you can prosper in these kind of in situations. So it doesn't have to be DEI or LGBTQ plus or yeah. It's the simplest of, of lifestyles. It sounds like human rights yeah. to me, to be completely honest. How about the yes. rest of his rant? Um, where do we go from <laughs> there? The opening ceremonies? Oh, my God. That was not the Last Supper. Okay. You idiot. So we all got mixed, mixed that up, though. Did you mix that up, too, though? Because no. when, when I saw the picture online, I was like, oh, shit, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but were you raised, like, Catholic, Christian, yes. or whatever? That's yes. why you saw that. You understand? For someone that is in the middle, right, and didn't didn't wasn't raised Catholic, uh, Catholic like that. I saw drag queens at a fashion yeah. show, right? Yeah. At, at a really cool long table. That's what I saw. But, I but it was raised Italian Catholic. I did not see it at all. Okay. You know, I, I saw a great a great show. Yeah, yeah but yes. you know how I saw it, right? They did a split screen with the Last Supper and then, you know, the drag queen pictures under. But it wasn't. It was like it was more Greek Greek mythology or something, yeah. right? Yes. Dionysus or something. Yeah. Yes. Something like that. I honestly I was like, ooh, that's hey. the Last Supper, bro. Hey. But, but also you not that I have a problem with you missed it. missed the whole thing though. The, the, the show was a diversity. Yeah. The whole fashion show just wasn't like skinny size zero models looking gorgeous. It was a diversity of people with coming yeah. together, and that's what it really was supposed to be. For. Yeah, 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 yeah. We missed. Well, I got that afterwards. Yeah. I got to be honest. I didn't. I didn't watch that that part of it. I just saw, and that's how rumors get started. You just get a snippet on social media, and you're like, boom! You can yeah. create a, a rumor or or an opinion on it, and, and it's over. That. And I tell someone, someone's gonna be like, ew, and then they go online, <laughs> and based on what I told them, <laughs> you know what I mean? It just spreads. It's it totally horrible. It does. Yes. You know, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Bonnie Butch. I want to say that's her name, and she was the DJ at the opening ceremonies for the Olympics, and. She She's gotten a lot of backlash and death threats and all that for being a part of a monumental opening ceremony. There was never an opening ceremony like that. Word. The inclusivity was incredible. And then you got Gaga and then you got Celine. What? <laughs> what? Anyway. Okay. Celine DeSantis, just shut up. Just shut up.